In the past year, I have been charged $1,400 by my homeowners association because you can park something like this, but not this in your driveway. We have got ourselves $1,400 in quarters, dimes, nickels, and mostly pennies that we're gonna be putting into five gallon buckets and bringing to the president's house. So they've decided to give me the maximum fine, which is $100 a day for the 14 violations that there are no timestamps or proof of which day or that day. It's just a crappy photo of my truck in my driveway from the inside of somebody's vehicle. And, you know, I basically got to sit there and tell them why and, you know, that my garage is kind of like my safe place. I work on cars in here. I, I spent a lot of time in here. It's where I could clear my mind and work with my hands. And, you know, I can't get around my vehicle inside this garage, you know, it has to stay outside while I'm doing stuff in here, which is, you know, on a daily basis. And I explained that to them and they really didn't seem to care. If you or someone you know is hated by the HOA, these shirts are now available at cletusmcfarland.com. So go help support the cause. Let's take these HOAs and put them in the dirt. Hated by the HOA. I love it with the truck on the back. That thing's fresh. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 times 25, $500 in pennies. We have $200 in nickels. We got $200 in dimes and $500 in quarters. Each one of these probably weighs 25 pounds. We've got a lot of weight sitting here on the tailgate. Now, unfortunately, when you get these from the bank, they come in all rolls like this, but you better believe we're about to unpackage each one of these into five gallon buckets. So, you know, their, their, their point is that, you know, this is the rule and that's the way it's always been. And, you know, people in the neighborhood have made points about well, this neighborhood isn't what it used to be. And, you know, I explained to them, well, yeah, we personally have moved into this neighborhood, are considering very heavily looking elsewhere to live already. It's deterring young families like myself and our friends from ever living in a place like this. And so the, the mean age in the neighborhood is going to continue to get older because people and young families aren't going to be moving in. We had a big debate about how to pay, who to pay, he emailed me saying, I can only take $100 bills. This lady's saying they can only take checks. Well, the Federal Reserve says that coins and currency are all legal tender for debts to be paid. Since this is a debt owed to the Homeowners Association, I'm gonna be paying in coins. This is legal, we're doing it, and I'm once it comes out of the truck, when we get to the house, it is not going back in. This has been a really frustrating process with a lot of emails. People on Instagram and YouTube really egging me on to do this. So here we are, guys. I'm excited, I'm nervous, so let's go do it. A majority of the neighborhood is in support of the change. However, they require 70% of the votes to be yes. I have homeowners association board members knocking on people's doors, leaving letters about how terrible it would be if somebody like me parked my pickup truck in the driveway. Now I can literally get a thousand dollar Crown Victoria put it in the driveway, great car by the way, but I can't park my $90,000 pickup in the driveway. You know, they've made it so difficult for change to actually occur because of their unrealistic rules for how something must go about change. You know, there's about 200 homes in the neighborhood. And for me to stop what I'm doing as a young professional and go door knock on 200 people's homes to beg them to let me live, you know, let my Park, park my truck in the driveway is absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, you know, it's just been a really sad, frustrating part. We invest a lot of money into this house. And, you know, people have mentioned, so why don't you just move? And yeah, we can move. But as homeowners know, you have to live in a residence for two years before moving so that you don't have to pay capital gains tax on any money gained from the sale of your home. So, you know, if I bought this home for 300000 and then I sold it a year later for 500,000, I would have to pay taxes on that 200,000 versus if I waited the two year mark, then I wouldn't have to. So we're about 10 months, 11 months into living here and I've already accumulated $1,400 in fines. And it's, uh, it's really sad that I just spend my time and my resources and my money to you know, pay these people. But on the flip side of that, at least this money will go back into the neighborhood we live in. So. You know, we're gonna 
stick it to them today and I'm gonna continue to park my truck outside and I'm gonna bring home some other vehicles from the track that aren't as appealing just to make a point and be petty because a lot of people talk about doing stuff like this, well, I'm gonna do it, you know? I'm, I'm fired up, I'm fired up about it. All right, we are loaded up. We got six buckets full of coins with a little bit more manageable weight to carry them for each one. And we are headed over to the president's house now to pay my fine for parking my nice pickup truck in my driveway. Unbelievable. Ready? You know, I've been thinking it's real unfortunate it's gotta come down to something like this. Here I am bringing youth to our neighborhood, working a ton, starting a family, gonna be bringing kids into the neighborhood, and they're fining me over a thousand dollars because I'm, I just, it just absolutely flabbergasts me. And that's why I'm doing this to, you know, stand up for what I believe in, even though other people may disagree about what I'm doing. It's, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's something I've always wanted to do and I'll remember it for the rest of my life. So let's get it. Four buckets in, got two more to go. Now I'm gonna ring the doorbell. These are the heavy ones. Hey, is Bill available? Great. He says he's available, but he's not coming to the door. <laughs> His wife's saying, we got a gentleman here with a bunch of buckets. Hey Bill, how you doing? Pretty good, what can I do for you? Here's my payment, 1400 bucks for parking my truck in my driveway. All right. I told you it would not be acceptable. Yeah, Federal no, Reserve. No, no, That's no. the law. You haven't looked at the court's cases. The court cases have dealt with this. Yeah, and well, this is a federal law. It. It's for a fine. It's money owed. It's That's a debt. Right. Have a good day. See you later, Bill. <laughs> Bill's not happy right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get a photo for evidence that we delivered it, and we're going to get out of here. All right, there's the $1,400 in coins delivered. Talked to Bill, told him we're leaving it. See you later, brother. Oh, he's coming back out, hold on. Oh, hey, it's it's this for that. No, you got it, you got it, you got that, you got that violation. You came by that honestly. You were not supposed to park a car there and you knew that you know, it's not that, it's the fact that somebody can park a thousand dollar piece of crap in their driveway and I can't park my... Sure. Well, if, they, if people want it to be a new neighborhood and bring you to the area, how can they expect to do that without any they change? They do, though, because we even have people that have trucks that have voted no for trucks. Really? It, really. I find I that very telling, hard to believe. I was telling you that all of the truck people voted... All of the all truck of people? Voted, really? All trucks voted not to have... I, I find that very hard to believe. But it's true. Ask around. So you're telling me that everybody that owns a truck in this neighborhood would be are against parking it in the driveway versus a thousand dollar piece of crap. I find that very hard to believe. So would you ask around? I have. I have asked I around. You've, you've asked, but you haven't asked. We've got a petition ask. of 50 to 60 I can people. Give you the list of names of the people. Well, yeah, because it's your list that you've dedicated to oppose this opposition. You know, I mean, it's... It's too bad that this is how it has to be, but there's my payment and we're moving on. Too bad. Too bad I had to end this way, but in the end, I kind of lost the battle myself by having to pay the money and having to park my truck outside, but hopefully they don't mess with the man anymore. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next episode. I got more content to come. Wrap it up.